This is Ask Arts and Crafters, the complete series. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and enjoy! This is episode one of the Arts and Crafters series. That's me! Hiya there! My name is Arts and Crafts, and it's nice to meet you. Come on down to the art room and ask me stuff. If I'm not too nervous about other people, of course. Let's all play, said Arts and Crafts. Wanna play? Gasp! Boy, I'd love to. Let me just swoosh! Now, I am ready to play! Let's go jump rope! Anonymous said, Oh my goodness, what a cutie you are! Oh, nuts. You're far too kind, Anon. <laughs> Nobody has ever called me cute before. I'm about to flop over. Uh, somebody sent me this. Um, hey, pal. I don't think you're supposed to sketch this kind of art in school. The Waffle Frog said, Do you like waffles? Well, of course I do. It's the most important meal of the day. How could anybody not love waffles? Ask Ball Duh says, Oh, hey! Gasp! Why, hello there! I did not know there was a female Baldi! That's incredible! It's nice to meet you! Anonymous says, what is your opinion on Baldi or the principal? Also, you're so adorable. Thank you so much! Well, Mr. Baldi seems to be a very polite teacher. Plus, he's very good at doing math stuff. But sometimes, he can get out the ruler, and I really don't want to disappoint Mr. Baldy. The principal is good at doing his job, of course. But I can't do the stuff in the halls. At least I can secretly do the stuff in Mr. Baldy's class. Don't tell him no. An anonymous says, do you have a crush on somebody? Oh, paper doll, you're such a beautiful girl. Would you like to draw with me? Let me just say, Miss Paper Doll has to be the doomiest cross for me. Somebody sent me Baldi as Patrick. Um, um. Sock, what do you have here? Uh, it's it's nothing, Baldi sir. Nonsense. It has to be something important that, huh? Stinky meanie. Suck! Get the ruler this instant! Oh god, no! Slink away! Slink away! Oh, I can't run very fast. Rookie Valkyrie 16 said, What makes you so interested in art in the first place? Well, since the day Mr. Baldi got mad at me for getting a few questions wrong and he hit me, I decided to go to my other class after math class was over. It was art class I went off to. But when I was in there, well, I was still kind of grumpy from what happened in math class earlier. But Miss Arts told us to create something that was on our mind. Then I decided to give it a try by thinking about the recent thought I had. I took some materials and paper I wanted to use, used some glue to stick it on the shapes, and in the end, I was proud of the little craft picture I'd done. No, no. <laughs> when Miss Arts saw the picture, I was worried that I did something wrong. But then she didn't hit me, but patted my head. Oh my god, head pats. She thought the picture was nice and put it up on the art wall along with everybody's work. Aww. Ever since then, I continued to do some artsy stuff whenever I felt down or kind of nervous to talk to others. Hehe. <laughs> I hope you like my tiny tail. Aw, a bunch of people were telling me I'm adorable. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to hide in the crayon box for a while. <laughs> Katie Freedom said, I don't know why you call yourself shy. You seem to be a very confident cutie pie to me. Well, that's because I'm mostly comfortable being by myself most- Eddie the Heartbreaker and Lulu Chan YouTuber want to draw with arts and crafters. Oh, the, oh, uh, 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 why? I, I suppose we can doodle together here. <laughs> See what I mean? I get nervous around people. Anonymous said, It's time to do your maths, kiddo. Oh, yes! Well, I'll get into doing the math work. Okay, um, get it right, get it right. Well, did you get all the answers right? I'm, I'm sure I got the right ones down here, Baldi, sir. Five plus three equals infinity. A six minus four equals a Roman numeral for two, so that one's technically right. And two times two is six, right? 
keep this up and I will get my extra long ruler. That's me. The Silly Fox 21 said, Do you like bunnies? Yes, I do, in fact. Bunnies are quite calm and cuddly creatures. They smell like flowers and sweet stuff. The Waffle Frog gives a plate of waffles to the sock. There you go. And Haley Kitty 69 gave him a bunch of candy. Ah, I'm too full now to have another bite. You're all spoiling me too much. <laughs> Anonymous said, What is behind that sock? Who are you really, Mr. Slash Mrs. Sock? It's Mr. Sock to you. I see. You want to know my darkest secret of all. Behind this little old sock, you might see the truth that can shock you. Since you're wanting to know so badly, swoosh! It was me, Dio! You have been fooled this entire time! <laughs> JoJo's Bizarre Adventure out of nowhere! <laughs> Weird color bars ask playtime. Hello there. What do you think of arts and crafts? He's my best friend. I love playing with him the most. Aw, shucks. I, I love playing with you too, buddy. You're certainly the kind one. Anonymous asked, what will happen to me if I have more notebooks than you? Okay, play it cool. Play it, play it cool. Teleporting powers activated. Yeah. Poof. Uh, where am I now? Hi. Oh, God save me! Ask Akuma and sister said, Why do you get jealous at player when he gets seven notebooks? Because I want Mr. Baldy to know that I can complete my work. Ah! He's still chasing me! Lulu Chan YouTube asked, Arts and crafts, do you know what anime is? If so, then what's your favorite? What is anime? I never heard of it. You <laughs> Julie asked, how do you make a friend? I'm lonely. Uh, um, I honestly don't know how. Uh, I'm, I'm not really the kind of sock to come up to people first, you know. I just hang out on YouTube and watch goofy comic dubs. Look up it. He's my favorite. Anonymous said, how big can you open your mouth? P.S. You're adorable. Well, let's find out. <sighs> <laughs> now it needs is that Uganda Knuckles. World on fire. <laughs> so stupid. Natasha Wolf says, Greetings. Is this the Krusty Krab? No. You're speaking to the FBI, and we want your no- <laughs> ah, We're under attack, man. Run away. I must hang up now. There's a beast in our department. Noodly Noodles said, Have you ever accidentally got swept up by Gotta Sweep? Gotta Sweep Sweep Sweep! Why yes, actually, a few times in a row. I just want to get my last notebook and my craft kit. Anonymous said, Does it bother you if someone tries to watch you do art? Hmm. Huh? 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 Yes, it makes me very uncomfortable. A lot. Anonymous said, Oh no, it's Chad and his 27 notebooks. Not today, dear Chad. Nobody shall have more notebooks than me. Baldy said, Hello, Socks. Did you happen to doodle all over the chalkboard in my classroom? You're a good artist. Why, uh... Yes, I did actually. But I'm quite happy that you love the doodles on the board. Uh, uh, Baldy, sir? Uh, are you feeling alright? <laughs> what the heck is that? What the heck am I looking at? Alone in the world, a little bald dog. I can get kind of carried away drawing stuff on the board. <laughs> Teresa, the art teacher, said, Hey there, kiddo. How you doing? Ah, oh, I'm doing just fine. <laughs> no, nothing to worry about. No I need that seventh notebook, and nobody shall get more than me. I'm a little stressed out if you can't tell. Bold Pewter asked, Hello there, arts and crafters. I have a tiny question. How do you view sock monkeys? Brother, 
It's been so long. I love you. Have you sock monkeys like siblings to me? They're just as comfy and nice to hug as well. Anonymous said, playtime's a jerk. Playtime is queen. I'm gonna get you. Come out and fight. Fight like a man. Anonymous said, I eat bees. Okay, then. That's none of my concerns. Freaking weirdo. No eating bees in the halls. <laughs> you imagine if they needed that kind of rule? Like, something that specific. They're like, you know what, guys? We need to take a stand against all this bee eating. <laughs> Anonymous said, Yo, arts and crafters, tell Mr. Baldi, uh, how would you feel if somebody would sketch odd things on your chalkboard? Well, I guess I wouldn't really mind. Huh? Is that a bald cat? I've heard of hairless cats, but this is ridiculous! It's supposed to be you, Baldi, sir. But my apologies if I draw on your body incorrectly. <laughs> It's a hairless cat. Anonymous said, if Baldy wants you to do math, draw pictures related to math. It'll make him happy, and that's based on the subject. That sounds like a wonderful idea to me. <laughs> Drawing apples, drawing apples. Hey, Mr. Baldy, I finished the questions. Done already? Let me see how it looks. Oh, wow. I probably done it wrong, so I apologize. Sorry for what? The work? The work you've done here is impressive. Huh? The mini doodles were also wonderful. And the answers are fully correct. You deserve a tiny prize for doing so well. R really? Here. Keep up the good work, fellow sock. I, I feel so special right now. Thank you so much for the wonderful suggestion, Anon. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Baldi said, keep up the good work, fellow sock. Doesn't that imply that he's a sock as well? Is Baldi a sock in disguise? So he has no hair. It's all making sense now. <laughs> Hero Balora said, notebook? I don't know what that meant, but here we go. Oh, I found one, yes. Hey. What's your favorite idea? Uh, what the heck are you? And why do you sound like Patrick? <laughs> that, was, that wasn't even on purpose. Adam just kind of did that voice. <laughs> and Anonymous asked, how are you so expressive? Because I'm a sock puppet, and making expressions is a thing I often do. <laughs> Being expressive is kind of fun, actually. You should try it. Anonymous said, kiss me, you beautiful sock. Puckle up, mysterious person. <laughs> oh, we got started on a good note today. <laughs> Only I can have pizza says, why are you so cute? Also, can you dance? Uh, I'm not sure how I'm cute, but I can dance. Furious Doodle says, what's one of your favorite drawings you've done? This one has to be my personal favorite. It's all of us together, like a big family. I love them all. Anonymous said, I have all seven notebooks. If I don't look at you, will you leave me alone? If so, faces backwards and walks with eyes closed. <sighs> okay, this is gonna work. Of course I wouldn't leave you be. Now let me just take you back to Mr. Baldy so he can correct your answers. <laughs> <laughs> He's an evil little sock, isn't he? <laughs> Anonymous said, you're adorable. Here, a little gift for such a special sock. Gives notebook. And open your mouth. Here's a chocolate bar. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you so much, Anons. You're all sweeties, you know that? Oh, somebody drew me. I see you have seven notebooks. Okay, this is some good art here. Good work. Hibiscus Peach said, you deserve more love, to be honest. Do I know? Jeez, you guys are making me all flustered over here. <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous said to Arts and Crafters, are you what happens to socks that get lost in the wash? Um, uh, oh, uh, perhaps? I will never tell! Anonymous cast a spell and said, Arts and Crafts is human for ten asks! What? Huh. This is so weird. Virtual Scissors Horse Expert said, Aw, cute small boy spotted. 
Oh, me? And a bunch of people are calling him cute. Oh, boy. Ah, this is kind of overwhelming for me. Also, that hurts now that I'm human. Please stop. Invader Phoebe said, How would Baldy react to you being human? I've never seen you before. Are you a new student here? Mr. Baldy, it's me, Arts and Crafters. Arr. Do you mind telling me exactly uh, how this happened? <laughs> Mr. Baldy seems to be pretty shocked about this. Only I can have pizza said, what does everyone else think of your new look? People were kind of neutral about it in the schoolhouse. Mr. Baldy was scared. Playtime at first place thought it was appealing. Principal was confused. And the bully, well, of course, he didn't really find it all that good. Anonymous said, Arts, do you have a crush on someone? If you don't want to tell me, don't worry, sweetie. Uh, I have a bit of a crush on Paper Doll. <laughs> I, I know some of you never heard, but Miss Paper Doll was a paper figure that was created in art class one day. But I ended up falling for her. I haven't asked her out yet, though. I will someday, though. I must be brave. Anonymous asked, Hey, Arts and Craft, is it easier to do art stuff now that you're human? It is easier to do it now, of course! I have hands. I kind of miss being a shark puppet, though. I'm not too used to being a human. I swear this is the cutest thing on my channel. Anyway. <laughs> Anonymous said, so since you're human for a while, does your method of getting kids with more notebooks than you change? It does, actually. I wouldn't be able to teleport them to Mr. Baldy anymore. Which kind of stinks, because I was really good at teleporting people. Having to fight them is just not something I want to do. Invader Phoebe said, is Playtime excited that she can finally play with you? I guess she is pretty excited to play with me. I guess it wouldn't hurt to finally skip rope with her. <laughs> that is the happiest I've ever seen Playtime. <laughs> Anonymous said, well, the more asks we send in, the sooner you'll be back to your sock puppet form. That's right. I'll be... Huh? <coughs> oh, huh? And only I can have pizza said, now you're back to normal. Finally, I am back to my old self again. That was fun being human, but I like being myself more. Somebody sent me a picture of me dancing with the hall monitor. Aw, thanks so much for submitting this. It's absolutely wonderful. That means a bunch to me you're so supportive. Thank you. I honestly squeak whenever I get replies like these. <laughs> And whoa, somebody sent me this as well. I look so handsome. <laughs> this gave me a good giggle. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. The blog has 420 followers. I feel a floaty as a kite from seeing this. Thanks a lot, everybody. You guys are the best. I love you. I was in a weird mood today, so I drew Baldy as a shark. You're dead. What have I done? It's so beautiful. Look, Mr. Baldy, I drew something for you again. Huh? Hey. Ah, since when was I a big green shark? I don't think you like this one either. <laughs> Party Mangle 2018 said, Hey, Arts, do you have parents? If so, then how is your relationship with them? Why, of course I have parents. They often love my artwork and put it up on the wall. But they see me fail in math class sometimes, which kind of worries me. Mom tells me not to worry about it and do my best on my work. My parents adore my company, and I adore them back. I hope that answers your question. I hope you have a good relationship with your family, too. And if you don't, just know I'm here for you, okay? We have some new school rules. No socks with large mouths. No teleporting. No being notebook jealous. No whooshing. And no spanking with rulers. Detention for you. When will you learn? You should know better. Well, I am quite disappointed. Mm. Anonymous hands arts and crafts a Roomba and says, Take this. It'll help you on your quest. And just some weirdo making art said, So, um, here? And gave arts and crafts a red scarf. My dear friends, today is the day that I'll go on a journey that nobody has seen before. <sighs> Thank you, fellow students. Now I shall follow my dreams and accomplish my journey. <laughs> oh, dang it, that's funny. 
<laughs> a fan wrote into the blog saying, I love making art and I like making things pop, but some people say I suck at drawings and making stuff. What should I do? Well, I'm sure that your illustrations aren't awful, but even if they are, that shouldn't matter. If you love doing artwork, then you should continue and keep making things that are awesome to your eyes. Don't listen to what other folks say and just keep on doing art. The more you sketch, the more things that develop in your art. The first step to being great at something is being bad at something. Keep working. Oh god, wow! Somebody made another baldy shark. That looks so cool. Fellow follower, you have just outdone yourself with this masterpiece. Now, you will get this as a prize. One, Mr. Baldy, one. Oh god, shark! I don't know why this became a thing, but I love it. <laughs> Anonymous said, don't mind me. Stick some googly eyes on the Roomba. All right, have a good day. Vroom, vroom. Now we want an Insta. An anonymous said, gotta sweep, sweep, sweep. Oh no, my noble steed. Come back to me, my Woomba. I love you. The Silly Fox 21 said, can you draw anime? I don't know what anime is, but I'll try and draw it. Hey, principal, I tried drawing an anime of you. Well then, let's see how this drawing looks. Nani? Uh, uh, uh. I think I did it well on my first try, but... Principal sent me through detention for it. Only I can have pizza said, Do you know how to sing? Maybe rap? I haven't sung before, but I might just do it for you folks. There's this girl that's been on my mind. All the time. Su su studio. Be quiet, Stinky. Your singing is annoying. Well, I guess singing isn't my thing, but I guess I can consider it fine. Especially when it makes Bully angry. <laughs> Anonymous said, do you like to draw people as different animals just to be creative slash have fun? Or is it just hard to draw humans? Why, of course I do. It's pretty fun to draw people as different things. Although humans are hard to draw, it's always worth some practice. This is what I got for my finished art. Well, I think Baldi will like it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Be quiet. <coughs> uh, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Anonymous said, I love your blog and art. Your art is so cute. Thank you for making this blog. Aw, oh, thank you so much, wonderful Anonymous. This is probably one of the reasons why I'm still continuing to doodle my work. I love you. Anonymous asked, what's your favorite thing to draw? Dinosaurs! Arr, I'm gonna eat you! I'm a big freaking bird! Anonymous said, do you have any friends that are students? I do have a few pals, actually. I have playtime that I hang out with at recess. Styx is another friend of mine. She loves doing artwork with me. And these two fellas, named Yarn and Tim. One of these times, I should let them introduce themselves to you folks. Only I can have pizza said, do you have a pet? I certainly do have a pet, but he's my pet, Rock. His name is Sir Rocky. But we just call him Rocky for short. He's so cute. He's not the fluffiest though, but I love him. <laughs> Anonymous said, do you ever get stuck to clothes because of static? Yes. So <laughs> It can be quite irritating sometimes to be stuck on somebody's clothes. Oh, sorry arts and crafts didn't see you there. I know. Random Green Dino said, thoughts on Gotta Sweep? I think he's pretty cool and takes his job seriously. Although, it can get wild with sweeping a bunch. Oh, got crazy boom coming through. Oh, no way! Anonymous said, you don't like to get hit by Baldy, right? Then why do you teleport people to Baldy? Because they've gotten incorrect answers. So seeing Mr. Baldy deal with them makes me feel better. <laughs> yep, guys, I think Arts and Crafts has finally snapped. Boken said, what a precious bean. What's your relationship like with Professor Baltimore? Mr. Baldy seems to be nice to me most of the time. Although, he can act very strict when I get an answer wrong. You just don't get him angrier by running away. Snivy 101 said, How do you teleport people and how can
can you see when your eyes are just googly eyes? I teleport them by using my magic tricks. That way, Mr. Baldy will hurry up to them. And although my eyes are googly eyes, I try to keep my eyes focused so I can keep my eyes on things. Oh goodness. <laughs> We've got birdies basics. <laughs> I get angrier for every problem you get, Walk. <laughs> Young lady! And poof, he's a suck now. <laughs> What's with you two and drawing me as these odd but well-drawn hybrids? I'm starting to get concerned about this. <laughs> Arts and Crafters is now human for 10 asks. Enjoy your time with hands and legs. And Baldy is a sock for 10 asks. What? Again? I'm sorry, but what? Um. Huh? Uh... Oh, what a wonderful idea! <laughs> sorry, Sock Baldy is too funny. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is you, Baldy. <laughs> Anonymous said, I got a rather punny idea. Hey, Baldy, sock it to me. <laughs> Ha ha ha! That's quite the humor you got there! Uh, being a sock now is going to be bothersome when I'm trying to get the ruler out! I swear, when I have hands again, you're gonna get the slappy slap slap! Anonymous said, Baldy either got a lot more harmless or potentially much more terrifying. Of course, I can be a lot more terrifying! <laughs> I figured out the whole no hands thing. Hero Ballora asked, do you like got a sweep or first prize? Because I don't know who to ship you with, a robot or a broom? Uh, 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 I don't know what you mean. I think I'd rather go on a ship ride with Miss Paper Doll, though. I like her. I already have a little crush. <laughs> Boy Killer Bird Birdie Draw said, Hey Baldy, how is life as a sock? By the way, you look adorable right now. And Christopher Devil said, Sock, how does it feel to be a human? Vice versa for Baldy. I guess being a human is alright. Being a sock is horrible. No, oh, come on, it's not that bad. I smell like sweat and people put their feet in me. I can think of no worse fate. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I don't think I'd want to be a sock either. <laughs> a fan sent. Ah! This is the mood I definitely have at this moment. TheOutsiders.com said, Hey Baldy, how will you be able to smack rulers now? And Random Green Dino said, How can you smack with your ruler now? You have no hands. I suggest you stay out of my classroom. Help me. Anonymous said, Sock Baldy, tell me a funny sock story. There once was a sock covered in red and stripes. Art made him happy and he wasn't ever down. But people grew sick of him and threw him outside. He went away growing a big old frown. When he went to the place that was called the washer, he thought this was a good place to draw art. Eventually, he was thrown in the wash with all the others. After the wash, he was on the ground, all wet and flat. This sock was only good for people's feet. He curled up, thinking he was rather useless. The poor sock has fallen asleep, hoping one day he'd be better for others than something pointless. How was that for a funny story? <laughs> that wasn't funny at all! <laughs> that was super depressing! Hey, Baldy! That was mean! Socks are not pointless! I'll beat your butt, Baldy! I'm coming for ya! A fan of the Ask Arts and Crafters blog sent in Baldy as a rabbit. Hippity hoppity, here comes the boppity! You have five seconds to run. <laughs> and here's Morrowack! Morrowack? More like Mara Smack! Got him! You all are quite fascinated in drawing me as creatures. 
Oh, you know what? I think I'm starting to get exhausted from being a sock. <coughs> huh? I'm back to normal. Oh, thank goodness. I don't smell like feet anymore! <laughs> and now, back to the sock. Yay, you're back! Yay, the sock is back. That's right, I'm back. But it makes me happier to see everybody misses me more. <laughs> Anonymous said, is there any drawing that you like the most? This is my favorite drawing that my teacher taped to the wall. The best part is that I used watercolor for this picture. Ooh. Aye, aye. <laughs> Anonymous said principal got Baldy pregnant. <laughs> Did I just hear inappropriate rumors about me and the principal together? These kind of things shall not associate in this schoolhouse. Now, go to the office immediately. Oh, you're in trouble. And Anonymous said, do you like dolphins? Of course I do. Riding on a dolphin is one of my biggest dreams I want to achieve. Unless I can make a plastic dolphin to ride on. Oh, that would work. It's time for Arts and Crafters. Yay, 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 I've missed you guys. Ask the Cyborg Pony said, Oh, why are you so small? Me? Small? I don't know what you're talking about. You silly sock! What are you doing to my diorama? Uh-oh. Listen, I, I'm not small. Even the playtime caught me in this small classroom. Anonymous asked, are you friends with First Prize? Of course me and First Prize are friends. Yay! However, the rumors about me and First Prize being a couple weirds me out a little. Me and this old bot are just good friends. I love everyone. Anonymous said, what's your least favorite thing to do? Playing sports and doing stuff in gym. Sports isn't really my thing, so I often stick to art-related stuff instead. Mickeladdin said, eat egg. Oh, uh, okay. Um, uh, Anonymous said, do you play Roblox? Also, you're super duper cute. Th thanks so much. Uh, but uh, I don't know what a Roblox is. It's 1997. And I only got CD games. Anonymous said, I have a question for Baldy. Tell us about playtime. What do you two do when you're together? Ah, uh, yes, about one of my other students. Playtime. She is a polite child and does know how to count very well. Sometimes I often help her out with other units. I take her outside to play games related to numbers so she can understand math more as well. So I suppose we do have some father and daughter like moments. <laughs> Anonymous said, Bye. War is right. I'm gonna eat all you puny humans. <laughs> and Anonymous asked, Can you draw your favorite dinosaur? My favorite dinosaur is a T Rex because they're big and strong and they'll shout, Roar! And I just had to show you guys this. The artist of this blog actually drew me. How freaking incredible is that? <laughs> you also might notice a couple other people in that picture you'll recognize. Anonymous said, macaroni, macaroni, macaroni. Put the cheese in the noodles and what do you get? A delicious meal that everybody can enjoy. Oh, thank you so very much. You're all quite too kind. <laughs> Miss Olivia Caitlin said, who made you? Hmm. Let me try and remember from memory. Could it be the principal made me? Uh, could it be the bully created me? No, no, that's not possible. No! But it can't be. The one who created me was... Was... It was that big old potato head! He created me all along! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's Mr. Potato Head, okay! <laughs> Anonymous said, What would happen if we made Miss Paper Doll into a human? Or just made her actually alive? Gasp! <laughs> One big delicious cookie for Miss Paperdoll! Be mean to Miss Paperdoll, and you'll get the super duper glue! Wow, that'd be a dream come true! 
Maybe one day that could happen. However, the principal says no hugging paper dolls in the halls. Anonymous said, Hey Arts, how big is first prize compared to your size? Also, is there any time first prize has ever shown negative emotions? Well, from what Tim calculated, he's around five feet. And he's pretty much bigger than me. But first prize did show some negative emotions today. Since that mean old bully was saying things to him. Somebody really hurt my feelings today by saying mean things. And Anonymous said, hey Arts, take this. Gives him a paper heart-shaped chocolate box with little crumbled brown paper balls inside. Give this to Miss Paper Doll. Girls love chocolate, especially when it's in a heart-shaped box. Oh. Miss Paper Doll, I got a little present just for you. I hope you enjoy the gift. I, I think she loves it. <laughs> Anonymous said, Baldy is a shoe for 10 asks, and Arts and Crafters is still a human. His 10 asks never ran out. What? <laughs> First, I was a sock, and now I'm a shoe for others to wear. Ridiculous. Well, at least you are a pretty shoe. I mean, that's good, right? Oh, by the way, there's an Arts and Crafters t-shirt only available on Redbubble. All proceeds go to the artist. Check him out. Yeah, I'm buying that shirt. <laughs> Wilbur the Ocerity said, Has Baldy been worn by anybody yet? No! Get your feet away from me! RJWJ186 said, Well, at least you're a stylish type of shoe, and no one will wear you because we don't have the other one. Oh yes, you do got a point there. And Anonymous said, so since Baldy's a shoe now, what does he do? I boot disrespectful little children out of the classroom. Hiya! Dickies at Winkle said, how old are you in sock or human years? I am eight years old in my sock and human years. Oh, that reminds me, my birthday will be coming up next month. Yay! Anonymous said, hey arts and crafts, can you and Paper Doll go on a date? But I don't know how to shock anymore. How would that work? Anonymous said, Paper Doll is alive for 10 asks. Thank me later. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness, Guy, where am I? What's happening? <laughs> Anonymous asked, Hey Arts and Crafters, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you have a crush on Paper Doll? Uh, uh, hapa, hapa. 10! Oh, big 10! I love her! And of course, Mun Cookie sent us Baldy plus the Care Bear equals Math Heart Baldy. <laughs> is there a way to make this real? Because this is wonderful. I love this. <laughs> Anonymous said, hey Arts, do you like pizza? And also, what are you allergic to? Why of course I love pizza. It's absolutely good and yummy. But what I'm allergic to? Uh, pickles. They're smelly and I get itchy every time I pick one up. Yucky! This right here is the art teacher. Aw, you are too cute. Welcome to my art class. Oh, hello, miss. Addy the Heartbreaker said, Oh my goodness, Paper Doll, how are you feeling? I feel pretty weird. I haven't ever talked or moved around at all before, but it feels so fantastic to actually talk. Amberwash3R3 said, What was Paper Doll's reaction to meeting arts and crafts? Oh, woo! Well, are you the boy in the class that does art? Um... <laughs> That's fantastic. Would you like to sit next to me at lunch, Artsy? Gee, I, I'd love to. Well, come on. Let's go. Yay. And then Anonymous said, Baldy Shoe intensifies. <laughs> They're all happy and I'm a show. No. Only I can have pizza said. Baldy's love. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. RJWJ186 said, were, were you guys in a toy car? Yes, we were riding in a toy car. How could we get to the fun place if we didn't have the toy car? Come on, Artsy. There's bouncy castles and pizza in there. Children, it's nearly six o'clock. We gotta return to the schoolhouse. Anonymous said, so Baldy, uh, how's life as a shoe? 
horrible. Arts and Paper Doll were having a blast at the fun place together, and they had some delicious sundays while watching Mousy and the gang perform. They sung along the nursery rhymes during a karaoke session. They played in a ball pit for an hour too. Baldy wasn't happy since it's 7.30 and the kids should be taken home. He couldn't grab them due to not having hands, so he had another option. Come on, honey, pick up the phone. Hello? Who is this on the phone? Oh, thank goodness, you picked up. Oh, dearest Baldy, where are you? I'm at the fun place, but I need your help because I'm a... I'm a colorful, silly old shoe. Oh, my apple crisp. This is an emergency, so before you go, let me tell you the plan. Alrighty then. So here's the plan. Step one, drive to the fun place. Step two, grab me. I'm the show. Step three, get the kids. Step four, bring them back home. I better hang up now, but I'll see you soon. I'll see you there, my dearest Baltimore. Oh, I see this is the most fun I've had as a human today. Yeah, same here. <laughs> What's with that silly look on your face for? Huh? To be continued. <laughs> well, uh, it's kind of hard to say this, but... Aw, oh, come on, Artsy. You can tell me. Yes? I... 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 Like... I really like you! <coughs> oh! Uh, Artsy? Uh... You became a sock puppet! Oh no! No! That wasn't supposed to happen! Huh? What do you mean? When when I became a real boy and Mr. Baldy became a shoe, I had a huge thing for you. When I first saw you being created in the art class by Mrs. Squibblebop, it was super duper cool to see a paper doll in the classroom. I always seen you in front of the class whenever Mrs. Squibblebop teaches us how to do art, but I often get too focused on you instead. It was silly because you just look so cute and and pretty, and I wish to doodle with you whenever art class started. When lunch times comes around and I got the heart to chit chat with you, you don't talk or move at all because you didn't come to life. So when we both became humans, I had a lot of fun being around you, and I didn't want this moment to end. So that's why I'm upset about turning back to a shock puppet. Once you become a paper doll again, you won't be able to do things anymore. Oh, Artsy, don't be like that, you silly worm. Huh? I might turn back into a paper doll, but I will still remember this day forever. And don't be sad for this moment to end. Just be happy that it happened. Mm. Love Pop! <coughs> <coughs> paper doll! Duh. Well... I had fun with her while it lasted. I'll take you back to the schoolhouse. But how can you pick me up without having any arms on you, silly? Huh? We should just walk out of here together. Back to school. Paper doll! You're alive! <laughs> Why, of course I'm still alive, my artsy. But I didn't understand. You were supposed to not be alive at all. I guess the power of love broke the spell of being alive for a short amount of time. But now we can finally eat at lunch and do fun things forever. All right, kids, it's way past your bedtime. Hey, y'all, it's almost closing time. Mr. Baldy! Miss Applebuck! Goodness gracious, you kids are still here? It's 8.20. I guess you both were waiting for us to get to you two. Me and Artsy originally planned to go back to the toy car and drive back, but we both poofed back to normal. Ah, uh, the toy car. Perhaps you little ones were right, since you're both far too small to ride it. Wait a second! Did Pepperdoll just talk? I need a good explanation! Relax, Mr. Baldy, but I'll tell you once we get back to the schoolhouse together. So Baltimore and Applepluck brought the two children back to the schoolhouse and told them their bizarre night. After all that, Arts and Crafters and Paperdoll went back home, and Baltimore finally turned back into a human. Uh, I don't want to be turned into things ever again. The next morning arrived at the schoolhouse. However, something was happening today. Come on, Kooky. We're going to take a school picture. I'm coming, Principal Sir. 
It was the day that Kuki says her farewells to the schoolhouse. Kuki helped with Arts and Crafters' blog and did answers for him, cracked jokes and did pranks with a new friend she made, met other teachers, and participated in their classes, and taught Artsy and many others artistic techniques. Hey, hi, kiddos! Are you ready for the picture? We're ready! Wait, you're forgetting a few people. Mommy! Pa! Wowie Kazowie! Looks like we've almost forgotten about Mrs. Melody and you folks! What was I missing at the schoolhouse when I was away? Huh? I have just returned back from my vacation in Sunny Belooza. Well, uh, everything in the schoolhouse is still doing fine when you were away. <laughs> Good to know such a lovely man like yourself is still taking care of this place. Hey! Less romance, more photo tags! Mer huh? Joe, long time no see. How are things going? <laughs> Baltimore. Thank you so much for taking care of my good old buzz. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, you're welcome, Joe. You took care of his bus? We'll discuss about that later, honey. Uh, let's get the school picture over and done with. Okie dokie. Is everyone ready for the picture? I'm sure that we're all ready by now, Scribble. Alrighty, say cheesies! Cheesies! What? After the school photo mischief, the school children had free time to play outside. They drew pictures of stuff they enjoyed, got to play hopscotch, and jump rope with playtime. And Paper Doll got to eat lunch with arts and crafters. After 12 o'clock, it was time for Kuki to officially leave school. Well, it's time for me to say goodbye to you, Arts. Will I ever get to see you again? You probably won't see me back at the schoolhouse again, but it's been fun being friends with you for a good while. You just remember, I won't forget about you, even when you're gone. Before Kuki left for good, she gave the sock one last hug. Goodbye, best friend. Artsy, are you alright? Yeah, I I'm alright. I know you're feeling upset that she left here and won't return back. But the moments will live on, and you still have me. And us as your friend! I simply dimply know how to turn that frown upside down! Huh? You got art class, and the doodly noodly topic of today is... Dinosaurs! <gasps> Miss Scribblebop, you're the best teacher ever! Miss Scribblebop took the children back inside to let them draw dinosaurs in art class. Despite Art's best friend leaving, the bluesy ad washed away by drawing colorful dinos. Of course, drawing will always cheer him up. After the day was over, it was time for the school children to go home. And that was the tale of Arts and Crafters' adventures inside the schoolhouse. The end. And thanks so much for watching today's Ask Arts and Crafters. If you enjoyed that piece, be sure to leave a like on the video before you go. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to join the VO crew. I post a new video every single day. Today in the comments, let me know, what was your favorite part of Ask Arts and Crafters? Mine was the karaoke singing, that was fun to record. <laughs>